Alright guys, I'm going to be quoting Mr. Uh, Anthony Joshua's, one of his tweets that he uh, posted a couple of hours ago, well, several hours ago actually. What took this fool so long? Like we ain't been interested. Anyway, well done Fury, they wanted to get you because they assumed you was finished. I'll give you a fair one when you're ready. Either one of you. And he was replying to a uh, tweet from uh, Sky Sports Boxing where they were basically talking about Deontay Wilder's, uh, you know, co-manager, Shelly Finkel, where Shelly Finkel said in the article that uh, he, his fighter, Deontay Wilder, was very interested in facing Mr. Anthony Joshua. And, of course, you see Anthony Joshua replied saying that he's, as if he's, wasn't interested, right? Basically saying as if, because, you know, Shelly Finkel makes it seem like Anthony Joshua's team is afraid or ducking or they're making up excuses as to basically prolonging this fight between Wilder and, and Joshua. So that's why he said, as if we ain't interest, been interested. You see, you see what I'm saying? Uh, and then he says that, uh, I guess Anthony Joshua... I haven't really seen Anthony Joshua's post fight, but reading this, this quote that he says, they assumed that you were finished. I, I, I imagine that Anthony Joshua felt that ja, uh, Fury beat Wilder because he says he'll give him a fair one. So basically saying if he fought, you know, Tyson Fury, uh, he would uh, he wouldn't have to worry about getting robbed. So I guess AJ felt that Tyson Fury defeated Deontay Wilder. And then he says the same thing about Deontay Wilder, uh, that he's ready for either one of them. So he's ready to fight Anthony Josh, no, he's ready to fight Fury or Deontay Wilder. And of course, both Fury and Deontay Wilder called out Anthony Joshua in the post-fight. So that's what everybody was talking about after the, the fight happened, besides, you know, the uh, robbery that occurred. But my, own, my, my only concern with this is... Uh, I know that Anthony Joshua wants to face Deontay Wilder, but now that there's been this big controversy where uh, Fury and uh, Deontay Wilder had this draw, and people feel that Fury got robbed. Many people feel, you know, not just me, many people feel that Fury got robbed against Deontay Wilder. My only thing is, I feel that this is going to be another fight they, another fight they might basically block Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder or Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury to happen uh, in the near future because now everybody, a lot of people are saying that Deontay Wilder got a gift decision against uh, Tyson Fury. So t uh, Deontay Wilder doesn't want that black cloud around him, you know, doesn't want people, because if he doesn't fight Tyson Fury, if he doesn't give him a rematch, there's going to be several boxing fans that will forever be saying that Deontay Wilder got a gift decision against Tyson Fury. So he has to give him that rematch to basically erase that thought on boxing on many on the boxing fans who believe he got a gift decision against Tyson Fury by basically beating him fairly and knocking him out, right? And then that would basically t take that away. So my whole thing is now I'm thinking because Wilder now has you know Wilder was o already set to face Dominic Brazil. If he would if he doesn't fight uh, Deont uh, Anthony Joshua next. And let's say he would have destroyed Tyson Fury. His next fight, 100%, would have been against uh, Dominic Brazil. So he's, he has that uh, Dominic Brazil on standby waiting for him. On top of that, now he has this uh, big controversy uh, draw he had with uh, Tyson Fury. So now he could also give Tyson Fury a rematch. And when Tyson Fury is talking about he has these... I know, I really didn't get... I didn't re really really do enough for research on that so I'm not even, I'm not I'm not even gonna mention that but uh Tyson Fury so this is this is why I, um this is what concerns me about Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder or even Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury next is the fact that it might be blocked by Deontay Wilder versus uh Dominic Brazil or Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury part two because again they were talking about you know they want to make the rematch in the UK because, you know, uh, Deontay Wilder fought uh, Tyson Fury in, obviously, the United States. And he 
Deontay, well, you know, Tyson Fury went to his backyard and he thought that he beat him and it was a draw. So Tyson Fury is saying, you know, now he should come to my backyard, right? And Deontay Wilder himself said he wouldn't, he wouldn't care going over there. So maybe he's gonna do a, a be a thing where the rematch happens in the UK, and that Deontay Wilder goes over to the UK, you know, maybe in Belfast or something, and he fights uh, Deontay, you know, and he defends his belt in the rematch against Tyson Fury over there. That might be Deontay Wilder's next fight, or you know, I. I have, I have a big feeling if Deontay Wilder doesn't fight uh, Anthony Joshua next year, his two fights next year will be against Dominic Brazil, and then he'll end the year off with fighting uh, Tyson Fury. I wouldn't be shocked if his next fight is in April, May, and it's against Dominic Brazil. Then he beats Dominic Brazil, and he defends his belt against uh, Tyson Fury. So this is the only thing that uh, I feel that might block this fight between Tyson Fury versus uh, Anthony Joshua or Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder. So, and also we have to keep in mind that that Anthony Joshua also has mandatory obligations. You get what I'm saying? And also, it, Eddie Hearn was talking about that he's going to make if D Dillian White beats Derek Chisora, Dillian White versus Tice. Uh, excuse me, uh, Anthony Joshua in April. So, again. At the end of the day, if these fights really want to be made, they could be made, right? If if the ant, you know, this whole thing that I'm saying, you know, that Tyson Fury and uh, might block uh, a fight between AJ and Deontay Wilder because of the rematch and Dominic Brazil still on standby because he's the mandatory. This all this is this is just me saying this, but that doesn't mean is is it's, this fight is it, going to definitely block this fight because again. If fights want to be made, they could be made. You know, tomorrow Eddie Hearn could announce that he has made, he has given Deontay Wilder's team the biggest offer possible, and then Deontay Wilder's team could agree with it, and then just like that, we, they announced Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder unification fight sometime in April 2019, and everything I'm, I just said was just was just me saying it. So again, or vice versa, it could be tomorrow we could, you know, Eddie Hearn could announce. Uh, Eddie Hearn could offer, you know, Tyson Fury and Frank Warren a big uh, purse to fight uh, Anthony Joshua next. Because, again, uh, Tyson Fury lost. Well, he didn't lose. He got a draw against Deontay Wilder. But his stock didn't drop because many people felt he beat Deontay Wilder. Had Tyson Fury, like, just gotten destroyed against Deontay Wilder, nobody would be wanting him to face Deontay Wilder in the rematch. And nobody would be wanting him to face Anthony Joshua. But because he put on such a... Uh, Basically, one-sided uh, performance against Deontay Wilder because he was in a very competitive fight against him, and people didn't expect that. And he be and because he he looked like he was showing flashes of his former self, and because he basically looked as good as he did against De 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 Deontay Wilder. That's why people are interested in watching him fight Wilder for a rematch because they felt he beat him. And also, that's why people are now intrigued watching him against Anthony Joshua. And uh, I thought Tyson Fury said something interesting. He said uh, in one of his post fights after this fight that, uh, you know, Deontay Wilder wouldn't want to fight him because he's only getting better. And I agree with that. You know, it, it, this is how uh, sharp and good Tyson Fury was against Deontay Wilder. And he's not even at his best form. Right, he looked. Just compare him there against Deontay Wilder to when he fought uh, Vladimir Klitschko. He looked way sharper against Vladimir Klitschko, and he was in way better shape. So this is like, and he was way active at that period of time. So this was a basically a like the version who fought Klitschko. That was a Tyson Fury at 100 percent, but the version who fought Deontay Wilder that was Tyson Fury at 60 percent, and even at 60 percent, he was able to basically outbox and give Deontay Wilder a boxing lesson. So, could you imagine if Tyson Fury manages to get himself into 100 percent form? Uh, he'll be held for many uh, top heavyweights. Like he would, he would beat Wilder again unless Wilder catches him with a. Uh, he would beat Wilder even more convincingly unless Wilder catches him with like a. Uh, a right hand again and knocks him down or manages to knock, to knock him out. So, I agree with what Tyson Fury says. If Tyson Fury keeps fighting, he's only going to get better because he's, the more rust is going to get off. 
his timing's going to get better. He's going to end up becoming back to 100% form. So I agree with him when he says that this is why many fighters will probably maybe avoid him or let me and he was talking about Deontay Wilder specifically maybe Deontay Wilder wouldn't want to give him a rematch I think the longer you make uh the longer you prolong the fight between Tyson Fury the sharper he's going to get the better he's going to get the more 100% form he's going to be and he's going to, and he's going to end up being back to the version of like 2014 I think Tyson Fury was at his best between the years 2013-2015 uh so I do agree with that so I think that uh, Anthony Joshua should fight Tyson Fury right now while he's still like not 100% and I think that Deontay Wilder should also fight Tyson Fury because I think he needs to erase that uh, doubt that he could, if, he, if he doesn't give the Tyson Fury rematch people many people will always say that he didn't beat Tyson Fury uh, it's, it's like a dark cloud if every time a fighter uh, has a really close fight with a guy and he, he gets a draw or he gets the victory and people perceive it as a gift decision for the rest of his career. They always go back to that fight and say he didn't beat this guy. They did it. With, they do this with every fighter, right? They did it with Floyd Mayweather Jr. when he fought Costello, Castillo, whatever. Even when he fought Marcos Maidana. So uh, Wilder has to erase that dark cloud that he has with Tyson Fury. And but like I said, I want to see Anthony Joshua in there with Deontay Wilder. But the only blockage might be. Deontay Wilder facing Tyson Fury in a rematch, Dominic Brazil, or Anthony Joshua having his mandatory obligations, or Dillian White next. But again, like I said, all this is just speculation. If this fight really wanted to be made, Deontay Wilder versus Anthony Joshua, or Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury, the fight could happen. Because fights that look like they could never be made end up getting made because of the money that's offered. So I think it's really all to do with like the money. If they offered the right amount of money, to the certain fighters, it'll it'll get made. Anyway, guys, self so Sam out. Bam.